Cupcakes! Welcome to my channel! In today's video, I'm gonna talk about assumptions made about me and kind of just knock them because I realize that people just make a bunch of assumptions about me that aren't necessarily true. So yeah, let's get into it. I posted on Instagram like you know, asking people what their assumptions were about me so I can like talk about it in this video. And the first person that responded said that he thought I was a lesbian when he first met me, which is really funny because, okay, maybe he sensed that I was a little, you know, not straight because I'm not. I'm, I'm sexually fluid or my sexuality is fluid. Sorry, not sexually fluid. <laughs> That's completely different. I'm not a hoe. Okay, just wanted to make that clear. My sexuality is fluid, meaning that I don't just like strictly men. I'm attracted to a range of different types of people, but that's a completely different video. But if you want to hear more about that, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. But anyway, it, maybe he sensed that, you know, I wasn't completely straight, but the way that he worded it was like, oh, I thought you were a lesbian because it seemed like you didn't want to talk to me. Okay, just because you're a guy, and I don't want to talk to you or it doesn't seem like I'm interested in you doesn't mean that I'm a lesbian doesn't mean that any other girl who's not interested in you is a lesbian it just means that maybe I'm not attracted to you but at the time also I was interested in his girlfriend so I was you know paying more attention to her so he kind of felt like left out he probably just thought I didn't like him in general but yeah, I just thought that was like a really funny assumption that was made about me. Okay, so not too long ago, I had my rainbow box braids. If you don't know, you can go back a couple of videos and watch me get box braids. And I talk about them and I talk about, you know, the hate and all that stuff. So I had those rainbow box braids. I also had really colorful rainbow makeup that day. I um, had a photo shoot, so, you know, had to go all out. But she said that it seemed like that wasn't me, like that wasn't my style. And that I was just putting out like a persona and, you know, there's... What did she say? Let me see. Okay, so she said, Everything was beautiful. I felt like the whole look was more of a persona you put out into the world, and you looked great, but I just felt like there was a deeper, more authentic you under it all. Like you weren't showing the real you. But it was my first time meeting you, and that's my first impression. Okay, so I feel like a lot of people think this because, you know, I feel like I look different every single day. I'm doing my makeup different. You know, sometimes I do more bold makeup, more natural makeup, colorful makeup. And I'm always doing something different to my hair as well. Like I had the box braids, I've had green hair, blue hair, red hair, pink hair. You know, I've had really short hair, really long hair. I like to wear wigs. So I just always and looking different and same thing with my clothes you know on my Instagram yeah I tend to wear a lot of girlier clothes but if you don't know as a child I used to be very tomboyish I used to wear basketball shorts I used to wear really big t-shirts to school like I would wear this to school and I would wear sweats to school I would wear those skater shoes the ones like I would get them from the boys section with the huge ass tongues if you remember those I used to wear those like I was such a tomboy um and even now yeah I am a little bit more girly but I do still like wearing like baggy clothes I like wearing a lot of sweaters I like wearing you know just like different types of things like I like sometimes I'm like wearing form-fitting clothes you know sometimes I have a street style sometimes I have a really chic style like my style is always change okay my style isn't always changing what I wear is always changing so when people see me and I'm like always different they think that I'm just like being fake or have like I don't know just putting out a persona that's not real I just like a lot of different things and I don't like looking the same all the time you know like I feel like most people look the same every day and that that's not a bad thing at all I just mean like you know they some people like to wear more natural makeup every day and have their hair a certain way like all the time whereas me I'm always switching it up because I just get bored easily I also am very artistic so I like looking at different things and I like the way different things look so yeah <laughs> that was a very long explanation but yeah that's me yes i do have different personas but they're all real they're all me so yeah okay next assumption is that a lot of people think that i'm a bitch 
And don't get me wrong, I can be a bitch if you fuck me over, if I hear you talking shit, if I don't like the way you go about things, if I just don't like your energy and your vibes, then I can kind of act a little standoffish to you. But most of the time, I'm going to be nice to you. Even if I don't like you, like if you haven't done anything wrong to me, I'm still going to be nice to you. I just won't necessarily put all my energy into you. Okay, my sun sign is Aries. My moon sign is a Leo, uh, which I just found out, which makes a lot of sense. Um, but because I'm, I have have those two fire signs in my birth chart I have such a bold personality and that can come off like bitchy I guess to some people um, because of the way I say things and not even the way that I say things sometimes it's just the way that I talk like I talk very like bold like in your face like I feel like I'm talking really loud right now and I don't mean to do that I realize that too when I'm around quieter to people I'm just like oh fuck like I'm so loud right now but I just can't help it like that's just who I am I don't know also I'm very sarcastic and I sometimes I have like a weird sense of humor and I'll say things that's like you know people normally wouldn't say or you shouldn't say like you know out into the world but I just say it to my friends because that's just my sense of humor like of course I'm not gonna say that out to the world because it's kind of like inappropriate but I feel like some of my friends think I'm serious and I'm like no like I'm not stupid like that like I wouldn't be serious about that but because I say it in such a I guess straight faced way people think that I'm you know some people think I'm stupid <laughs> some people think that I'm being for real so yeah, that's a that's a assumption I guess that's made about me a lot because of you know my sarcasm. <laughs> okay, I think another assumption that is made about me that you know no one has said, but I think that people think about me is that I'm super confident. Yeah, I am really confident and I'm proud of who I am. Like I love myself. I think I'm pretty good at makeup, but People don't know that I'm very, very critical of myself because I feel like I can always do better like this. I love my makeup right now, but to me, it's not the best that it could be. Like, I'm always comparing myself to other artists. I feel like a lot of artists do this. Like, they're very self-critical of their work. And um, truth is, I am actually really scared to put myself out there. Like, whenever I'm posting something on Instagram, I'm like, fuck, I want to, like, delete it. People are going to think it, this doesn't look good. People are going to, like, be annoyed of me. Like, I'm always just thinking different things in my head. And I think a lot of artists do that. Like, if you don't know, I used to post all the time on my makeup Instagram account. And I took, like, everything down and restarted it. Because it didn't look aesthetically pleasing to me. And I'm just very anal about that kind of stuff. Because I don't think my work is the best. I don't want to post shit because like I said I'm always comparing myself to other artists but I just realized that I have to keep doing and practicing in order to get better and I want to post my stuff to inspire other people and to kind of see my progress as well because you don't know like when you're doing something every day you can't notice the little things and you can't notice that you're getting better and improving until you look like six months back and you look at a picture and you're like oh shit like you know I actually am getting better I just realized that and that's why I kind of just put myself out there there because the more energy you give the more energy that you receive and so I've been noticing that a lot lately I feel like this is turning into like an astrology video about my sign but um, it kind of is in a way I can just keep talking and talking but that's not what the point of this video is like I can make that a completely separate video um so yeah I I do have a lot of insecurities like you have no idea another assumption is that like well, I guess it kind of ties into people like thinking I'm a bitch and like not wanting to talk to me straight off the bat because, you know, they think I'm too bougie or they think like they think that I think I'm too good for them or to be their friend or whatever. But it, that's not true. Like, I love meeting new people. I love talking to people. I love making new friends. Like when people DM me, they don't think that I'm going to respond to them. And when I actually respond to them, they're like, oh, I didn't think you were going to respond to me. Like, that's crazy. Here's the thing, too. Like, I feel like people think that I'm just going to do things for them because I'm nice. Because I post, like, well, I like to think that I post a lot of inspirational things on my Instagram. You know, I talk a lot about my channel and doing makeup and stuff like that. And people try to take advantage of that, like, because I'm telling people, like, all the time that, like, oh, go chase your dreams, you know, like, I support you and all this stuff. Like, if you have any questions, just ask me, which is true. Like, I love pushing people to do their, to do what they want, to chase their dreams. And I like to answer questions. I like to help people. But at the same time, I notice, like, I notice the bullshit. And I can see through when you're not being genuine about what you need help with. Like, I like helping people and collaborating with people 
who have such a strong passion for what they do. When people want to collaborate to build their own channel or build their own pages and stuff like that, yeah, let's grow together. I'm totally down for that. But when people say certain things, I can tell that they're just using me because I kind of have more knowledge than them about like YouTube and stuff like that. Like for instance, some girl messaged me saying, oh my god, like you make it look so easy doing your makeup and stuff like that. And I was like, oh no, just like practice makes better, you know what I mean? Then she was like, oh, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel. Maybe if I come to LA, we can like collaborate and we can help each other out. Okay, I didn't have a problem with that at all. But then I asked her, okay, what is your channel going to be about? You know, what kind of videos do you want to do? What kind of content do you want to make? Um, I'm not sure yet, but I just hope that it gets a lot of views and I hope I get a lot of subscribers and like make money off it. You see what I mean? Like, no, I know you're only hitting me up. I know you only want to collaborate with me because you want my viewers. You want a lot of subs. But the thing is, you can't go into YouTube thinking about that stuff. Yeah? It's really nice when people like your videos and comment, the more people watch, the more people that subscribe and stuff like that. That's cool. You have to do it because you love it, because it's your passion. Because if you go into YouTube just because you want the money or because you want to be famous or whatever, you know, some people it works for them, but most people it doesn't because you just care for that. Like people are just a number to you. Whereas like for me, I love doing YouTube just because I like doing YouTube. Like I love filming videos. I love making content, coming up with new looks. I like teaching people because for me, because I'm self-taught, it was like really hard watching some tutorials because people didn't explain it enough or whatever. Like I just like teaching people and that's why I'm making more of these talking videos because a lot of this stuff isn't talked about in society and over social media. So I just like helping people grow. So that's why I like doing it and I just, you know, want to inspire people. Yeah, anyways, that was, you know, going completely off track, but... Yeah, so I think those are all the assumptions made about me that I can think of as of right now. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Like this video if you like it or if you learned something new. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. And hit your post notification button to be notified of when I post new videos. Which is usually every Friday, but sometimes it changes depending on how busy I am. So yeah, thanks for watching. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.